Hi, I'm Nicole Ringgold. I literally just finished installing this natural rock mosaic and I thought I'd show you how to do it. It's a lot easier and less expensive than you might think. I've installed a lot of mosaics. This one's on the outside of our home, this one in the office, in a Baja Mexico bathroom, and then behind a kitchen stove. You'll need rocks, plenty to cover your space. You'll need a spatula, any size, a little bit larger than this will do, but I like the smaller, um, it gives me more control, but we'll go into that more later. You'll need grout. This is ready to use, but you can also get it unmixed, which is more affordable. Sharpie, definitely a pair of rubber gloves paint and some kind of paintbrush, and then a couple of rags and a drop cloth. I love taking walks to the river in the fall when the river is lower and more rocks are accessible. If you don't have access to beach or river, you do have other options such as getting bags of rocks from a garden store or one by one foot rock tiles from a hardware store. If gathering your own rocks, you're gonna to want to be them to be consistently thin. They don't have to be the same size, but they should all be relatively thin. That's most important if installing it into the floor, in which case the one by one foot rock tiles might be a better way to go, albeit more expensive. Wash the rocks with mild soap and water. So I'll start from the corner, I think. Go upward. This does not have to be exactly how it pans out. I can change my mind, but at least this gives me a map from which I can begin to work. I like to lay the rocks out as if I'm doing a puzzle. Using your spatula, spread 1 8 inch of the adhesive covering about 8 to 10 inches of space. Much more than that will dry before you have a chance to set the rocks. And then thicker than 1 8 inch of the adhesive will result in the adhesive squishing up between the rocks and you don't want that to happen. Starting in a corner and against the trim and baseboard, you'll want to use rocks that are a bit thicker. This part's fun because it's like putting together a puzzle, but with natural shapes. Create the upper edge first to be sure that you're following your Sharpie line. In the past, I've made a backsplash in a bathroom and to do so, you'll wanna use painter's tape so that then you can peel off the nice straight line. And then you'll want to line the entire edge of your rocks with caulk to be sure that the water does not get inside. Here you can see the ideal spacing for the rocks. If you're looking forward at a corner, you'll want to fast forward and work the corner and then backward to make your life easier. Here you'll see where the small spatula that I use comes in handy to reach those tight spaces in between the stones.
If you're working with a corner in a room, you'll want to set the stones in that corner first and then work outward. Once you're done, let the adhesive dry for 24 hours. Lay down your drop cloth and adorn yourself with beautiful rubber gloves, especially if you're using sanded grout because your fingers will become charred. And then just take a dollop and start spreading it, pushing it into the rocks with your fingers. Keep pushing, kind of going in circular motions, being sure to get that grout into all of the stones. Before your grout has a chance to get too dry, use a wet rag to start wiping away some of the grout. Keep circling, rubbing off all the residue that you can, but don't worry about the light film that remains because you'll deal with that a little later. You'll need to keep rinsing out your rag so that it's not too caked with grout. Then let it sit for a little while, maybe a good hour, and come back when it's almost dry. When you return, you'll use a dry cloth to rub off that light film that still remains. Clean up the lines with a fresh coat of paint. After a week, seal it with the tile sealer. <laughs> I swear to God, this is like take 10. But anyway, that's all there is to it. I hope you found my instructions easy to navigate. Next time I'm gonna be showing you how to make cabinet knobs out of river rocks. Uh, if you find this content interesting, I hope you subscribe. And um, I also, if you're interested in learning more about my silversmithing, the links are in my bio. Have a great day.